Siri, call my boyfriend. Do you remember? You don't have a boyfriend. Yeah. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills to true. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And go ahead and hit that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel and want the music to the intro, the links are in the description. All right, today I'm going to be talking about why you want a girlfriend, but you really don't need a woman in your life in order to be happy. Too many of you guys out here, you don't have any dreams, ambition, or even any ideas, and you're putting a lot into finding love still. Even in the modern times that we're living in, a lot of you guys are still waking up and praying that you could be in a relationship. Well, I'm here to let you know that the relationship married lifestyle is kind of playing out. Everyone's going into their own individual world and marriage nowadays is nothing more than a contract and people are, under, are understanding that it has nothing to do with love. So today I'm going to be breaking down why you do not need to have a woman be in a relationship or get married in order to be happy because if you're not happy alone they're never going to be happy in a relationship let's get to it first you have to learn to love yourself first why is loving yourself important because loving yourself is the key to happiness because when you love yourself you're going to put a lot of more emphasis on the things that you like most of you guys put a lot of emphasis on the things that the woman likes is because you're always trying to make her happy. But you got to put the emphasis on what you like. Some of that money that you got saved up, hoping one day to get married and have kids, spend a little bit on yourself to make yourself feel good. Find some self-happiness. Find what you like out of life. Find what you don't like out of life. That's the main important thing. If you're not smiling by yourself, then there's no need for you to smile inside of a relationship. A relationship is not going to make you happy. And you learned from this in the past. In your past relationships, you got in them trying to make somebody else happy, but you ended up hurting yourself in the process. So you must learn to love yourself first. If you can't love yourself, then nothing, nothing in the world is going to make you happy. Trust me. No car, no money, no lifestyle, no likes on Instagram. None of that is going to matter if you have no love for yourself. Next, control your own happiness. What do I mean? Stop trying to adjust who you are to somebody else because you just want somebody next to you in order to have some type of friendship or some type of companionship. You must learn to know what makes you happy and what doesn't. For what you want to make yourself happy, surround yourself with it. Like with me, I'm into cars, right? So I hang out with people and I do things with people who have cars. Are some of these people rich? Yes. Are some of them poor? Yes. Are some of them middle class? Yes. Is some of them good looking? Yes. Is some of them ugly? Yes. Some of them are in shape. Some are fat. Some are sloppy. Well, guess what? We put all of that to the side. We don't worry about it. We throw it out the window because all of us come to a come together for a happiness that we love cars. You have to figure out what is it that you do? What defines you? I like doing YouTube videos. I love to film. I love to edit. That's my first love. But I get to do that every day. My second love is cars. What are your loves? And then surround yourself with the things that you love to do. That's how you control your happiness. You don't want to love cars, but now you're going to a knitting class or doing yoga with some woman to make her happy when you're aggravated the whole time. Next, you have to put your goals over a relationship. This is going to be the hardest part. And the reason why it's going to be the hardest part is because not a lot of you have dreams. You have ideas. All right. What do I mean? Ideas are things that you can get from anywhere. You can watch somebody's page and get a thousand ideas. You can, you can look at successful people and get an idea of what you want to do because you're just taking an idea of what someone else is doing for happiness. 
when people sit down and they want to talk about goals and dreams, they like to talk about ideas. When it comes to a dream, you've already went through the idea phase. You've already pictured yourself being successful at that. That's what dream chasing is. Dream chasing is when you've already visualized yourself being what you want to be and you wake up every day and you put that above anything that walks into your life. That's what putting your your, your goals above her and above everything is going to work for you. All right. But if you don't have any dreams, it's not going to work. Ideas are not going to get you there. Women have ideas. All right. Everybody can come up with an idea how to get rich. Bitcoin, real estate. You just got to get on your grind. Everyone can list a thousand ways on how to get rich. But if it's not your dream to get rich doing that, you're not going to be successful doing it. So understand the difference between dreaming about something and having the idea. Next, relationship statuses are played out. What do I mean by relationship statuses are played out? Everyone wants to be in a relationship so they can show people that they are in love. That's what women do. Women live in themes because it's easy for them to grab a quick beta male, get married, take a thousand photos on Instagram, get a thousand likes, do a couple things as a family, go on trips, spend the next three years living off the life online and then come to the point of that relationship where she's like, you know what? I didn't even love him. I want to switch and go get another thing. So now I'm going to find me a bad boy and I'm going to feel young again by being with the bad boy. That's what women do. Women live in themes. One minute she want to be the best housewife. The next minute, she wants to be a playgirl. The next minute, she wants to do this. Why? Because she idolizes the women that are online and the women that are online are always doing something different. So what you have to understand is getting in a relationship is nothing more but a status and like symbol for people on the outside world. You don't need to do it anymore. If you want to sleep with a girl, let her know, like, yo, we just messing around. I don't want to get married because nine times out of 10, she don't want to get it either. So stop thinking that your relationship status defines you. It only makes people who are not in a relationship jealous. Get that out of your brain. It makes people who have no life jealous. Next. Love comes and goes. I'm sorry to tell you this, bro. Go back and think about the girl that you liked at high school when you was 14. Then think about the girl that you liked when you was 17. Then think about the girl that you liked when you was 16. Think about the girl you liked when you was 25. The girl you liked when you was 30. You all, you cared about all of them the same. You liked them all the same. You thought about them all the time. What does that tell you? Your infatuation is going to come and go. So don't get caught up on an old relationship. Old relationships stop you from going ahead. It stops you from getting forward. Understand that love is going to come and go and there's nothing that you could do about it once it runs its course. The quicker you get over something that's hurting you, the better you're going to be because you're never going to go through more pain than somebody else. Next, love will not find you. It's not going to find you. I'm letting you know that right now. A friendship will. All right. A friendship will find you. If you look at all the older couples that are like 45, 50, possibly even 60 that get married. The reason why it looks like love is because both of them have an understanding that they don't want to be alone and they're mature enough not to play games with each other because they both know that they want someone to talk to every day. Well, that's what you have to understand. You're not going to find love. If you find a woman that's going to be in a relationship with you for a while, you and her are going to have an understanding and you're going to be more friends than you are lovers. You're not going to be holding hands, walking down the street, making love to each other every night. That shit's going to die out. If you don't fucking rock her boat in the bedroom, she'll never make love to you again. She'll just be having sex with you just to bypass time to make you happy to keep to keep the relationship fair and keep it going. So you need to understand that if you do end up with a woman, it has to be a friendship 
way before the romance and Valentine's Day and marriages and all that, you could throw that out the window. Love's not gonna find you. The closest you're gonna get is having a good friend that walks into your life, right? This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you're able to get the message behind the video to where you want a girlfriend, but you really don't need one to be happy, all right? Hasta la vista.